Hey guys, Kokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing another Wi-Fi battle on my channel, which I did on my stream a couple of days ago against my good friend Lunar Gabe. And as you can see, our teams kind of look the same. Uh, we both have Gengars, we both have Azumarils. I actually think that's really it. We both have uh, we have a Land I have a Landers, he has a Tornadus. Those are pretty much the only similarities. Let's get straight into this battle. Now at the beginning of the battle, it was kind of just me throwing out a random Pokemon. I threw out my Azumarill thinking, A, most of his team doesn't really have anything to do against my Azumarill. So let's just throw it out here. He goes for a Hurricane right off the bat, and I knew I was going to be able to tank anything from this Tornadus because I am Assault Vested, so I wasn't scared of staying in, getting hit by a Hurricane, and going for a Play Rough, forcing him out next turn because I do also have Aqua Gel on this thing. Now right here, I went for an Aqua Jet, wanting to get that quick KO on Thunderous, but he, or Tornadus, but he does switch out here into his Crimson, also known as Scizor, and goes for a Mega Evolution right here. Now, I don't know why he went for this, I would have went for a Bullet Punch and just gone damage off, but he went for a Sword Stance, and I went for a Waterfall right here, getting a lot of damage off on this uh, Scizor right here. This is going to do a lot of damage, considering I'm not a... Uh, Life Orb or even Choice Bandit. I was surprised it did that much. He's going to go for a Bull Punch. Not exactly going to kill. It's only neutral damage. And Aqua Jet is going to take out the Scizor right here. At this point, we are up by one Pokemon. It's looking pretty good for us. We got some hacks at the beginning. And we are dominating so far. Now he's going to bring out his Gengar right here. I'm going to go for an Aqua Jet. Gain guaranteed damage off before I die. I know Gengar doesn't have any priority moves. He went for a Substitute. And we even got that crit, which did matter. If we didn't get the crit, the substitute would have came up and we would have been uh, a little bit in a predicament right there. It wouldn't have really mattered. We still would have taken it. We would have lost our zoom roll. He would have still been alive. But it was nice that we got that crit. Because we did, were able to get that Gengar out with not that much HP. Now he's going to switch into his Weavile right here. Wants to save his Gengar right before he dies. Does not want to lose it just yet. Probably knows it could still be potentially useful. He's going to go for an Ice Shard here, not exactly going to kill Azumarill, and Aqua Jet is going to take out this Weavile. Now, at this point, we are up by two Pokemon. Tornadus is going to come out now, and Tornadus, I wasn't really scared of losing my uh, Azumarill to this thing, just because Azumarill's done a lot of work on this team so far. Uh, it's damaged four Pokemon, it's even taken out two at this point, if I'm not mistaken. So, I was going to get some damage off on Tornadus, maybe take him out with Life Orb after his attack didn't exactly happen and I'm going to bring out my Landorus now. Now Landorus, Tornadus just pretty much fears Landorus because usually you run a Choice Scarf on this thing and it's super. he has a super effective move, Landorus just hits hard in general and Tornadus doesn't have the best physical defense in the world. Now he's going to bring out his Azumarill right here and this is a Belly Drum set. I'm super scared of this uh, Azumarill. I uh, didn't know what to do here, so I just went for a knockoff, gain guaranteed damage, even taking off his Citrus Berry so he didn't get more health back once he uh, goes for a Belly Drum right here. He is going to get maxed out attack, which is super bad for my team, because my team is really weak to Belly Drum Azumarill. The only thing that tanks a shot is my maybe my Celebi and also maybe my Heatran. Heatran's not going to live in Aqua Jet though, only a superpower. I'm going to stack my Charizard here though because I knew that I didn't really need Charizard anymore. We did a lot of damage with the Azumarill at the beginning and pretty much all the threats that Charizard didn't even take out were weakened. So he's going to get, he's going to switch out his Azumarill here which I was kind of surprised about. I thought he would maybe switch in or stay in and go for an Aqua Jet or something because he has max um, attack. But I don't know how much damage this is going to do to Celebi. Celebi was probably going to live it. He's going to switch on to his Gengar here. Sack it so he gets a free switch in. And it's looking pretty bright for us now. Up three Pokemon. Now he's going to switch into his Latias right here. Celebi can't do anything against Latias. So I switched into my Heatran. Knowing that I'd be able to tank anything that comes from this Latias right here. As you can see, Draco Meteor, one of the strongest moves that the Eon Twins could run. Um, and... It's not going to do that much damage. He's also going to lose some special attack here, which is super good for us. That means we'll be able to even tank some Psy Shocks that he throws at us. Now I'm going to get some health back from Leftovers right here. He's going to go for a Psy Shock. And at this point in the battle, it was kind of a stall thing. He didn't want to switch out with his Latias because he didn't want to lose anything to my Heatran. He knew he had to sack this thing and get a free switch in onto Azumarill to even potentially take out my Heatran. 
or anything else on my team. So he's going to keep going for Draco Muse right here. Gonna lose more special attack. I would have went for Sashuk over Draco Meteor and his little um, struggle right here, just because we're not gonna be losing special attack and Sashuk's just gonna keep doing damage. If we even get a crit, well, then you're gonna be doing more damage at that to Heatran. Because at this point in the battle, it's pretty crucial. I went for a flash can here. I'm really hoping for a special defense drop because I just want to get this laddie ass out of here. This stall game right here isn't really the funnest thing in the world. No one likes stalling Pokemon. I went for a Stealth Rocks right here though. Um, in case he maybe wants to switch into Zoomerl at any time throughout the battle. I know it's probably not going to happen just because flash can does Oko a Zoomerl at the health it's at right now. He's going to go for a default. Get rid of those... Uh, um, stealth rocks and I didn't know if he would go for another defog or not again so I just went for a roar wanting to switch that thing out because Latias was getting really annoying at that point uh, we didn't really want to deal with the stall anymore so I switched out his uh, Latias now he's gonna go for a super power right here with the zoom roll and I thought I was dead but I live with 2 HP I was so hyped about that because I was like you know what zoom roll could actually maybe sweep us here the only thing that I really uh, poses a threat to that Azumarill now is my Celebi, and Celebi could easily get taken out by the Latias with Draco Meteor, but we're able to live with 2 HP, take it out with a Flash Can, and at this point, Lunar just goes ahead and forfeits. Now, I'm sorry Lunar that you got hacks today, or at the beginning of the battle, it really sucks, I know how you feel man, it happens to me once in a while, but Pokemon's Pokemon, RNG is RNG. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle, if you did, Give the video a thumbs up and tell me what kind of things I can improve on. My commentary, um, how I approach the commentary in the battle, stuff like that. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with comment. Yeah.